What's the back say? September 1999. Because that's when I was framed. Huh. These things are really cool. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Would you do thirty bucks for bottom all? Five dollars off the big one. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy all of them. They're really neat looking. Thank you. Wireless. Uh, got some cool stuff. Quarter cable, fifty dollars. No idea why I'm sweating so bad. And some water, I think. Hello, that's a lighthouse up in Maryland, I'm pretty sure. People love lighthouses. Drum Point. At the time it was built, Drum Point Lighthouse, 1970s. Is that the one from Key West? Is that the Key West Lighthouse? Uh, no. Okay, patterns. And you got that one. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's only a dollar. People love, my parents love lighthouses. Um, New Jersey. New Jersey. Oh, it's a, that's funny. Look, it's like a pool room. I picked that up. Yeah. I must have liked the uh, Civil War stuff. Some mushrooms. Did you look through the purses? I did. That bird is getting it. Just singing away. Your vocal cords should be hurting, little bird. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it says. All right. I think, uh, I think that's all. We're... Did you want anything else? I'm down to only fives here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to recount them. They're kind of sticky. They just yeah, came out of the... Yeah, off the press. Yep. So I came home, and again, art is so... We're trying to learn art because it's just... There's a lot of money in it if you know what you're looking for, and then there's not a whole bunch of money in it if you don't know what you're looking for. These right here are signed Mort Cussler, 19, uh, 18... No, 1989. And if you look up his paintings some of them go for well over five hundred dollars these are like really good i don't know how to distinguish if it's a painting or a print or a lith lithograph or anything like that then on the back i don't know if i showed it that well actually when i was at the art sale there is what it says on the back of what it is the winter of 1863 and then it has november 1999 i'm guessing that's when it was uh probably put in this frame but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these and then this one right here is from Tom Lavelle I think and this one alone again if you know what you're looking for I can figure out exactly if these are prints or lithographs or they're not paintings I can tell that that is not a painting uh, but they still go for like you know a couple hundred dollars so this could be if you think about it if these go for even a hundred dollars a piece which is actually low for his type of stuff for the war you're talking like 600 bucks there and we paid um, I think $30 for all of them that ain't too bad. And these actually would be very easily shipped. There are some issues with the frames, like especially right here. There's a little bit of issues. But other than that, I think most people are going to want the actual uh, picture on the inside. I'll let everything go half price. Half whatever it says. Half price? Half price and everything? Yeah. Oh man, that's a nut. You can't, I cannot pass that up for five bucks. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah. I used to have a generator, and that's what I used it for, but I got a whole house generator. Ah, they're the best. Yeah, we're still, we still got the, uh, like a gas generator just in case yeah. hurricanes, and one day we will upgrade to the whole house generator. They're just so much better. They're pretty cool. It's Civil War bullets. I do a lot of metal detecting. Yeah, there are actual Civil War bullets from the war. Where would you find them at? Uh, different places. Virginia, South Carolina, um, North Carolina. So, I mean, you're saying 
Those there? Five dollars. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you the boxes for you. You can put them in. Look at these things. Oh, yeah. That's They're cool. Silver war bullets. I got some of those. Oh, you got some Or just, I uh, got two. Boxes for now. Oh, cool. Thank you. Actually, I might get the wooden one, too. Somebody good. was asking about yeah. these. They're all rings I found at the beach. Really? Yep. Oh, wow. So you metal detect a lot. Oh, yeah. That is really cool. Huh. Crazy. So these are five, only five bucks now? Yep. That's pretty good. Right, any, uh... Sunglasses are done. I think I had two on them. Knocking down a dollar half price. Did you find these too? Yep. Yeah. Everything I have. Just about. All in pennies. I have two laces. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that thing's pretty cool. I'll put those back in the box in a second. What type of watches you got over here? Department of the Army. Citizen Courts. Amityville loves you. Huh. Seiko. Just want one for myself. Get one. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That is. I was actually just looking. Oh, these are like little cases. Yeah, like display cases. Gotcha. Display your bullets in. Yeah. All right. I think we're. Give me five dollars again. Okay. For the bullets. And a dollar each for the sunglasses. Okay. So you're at ten bucks? Ten bucks there. Alright, so right here. Oh, and I got two rings. Or no, three rings. Three rings? It's a being extra. Okay, so they're five, five each. So you're five. I had them for ten. Yep. Alright, so you're at twenty five. Okay. Five bucks for here would right. be thirty. Thirty. And then you got you said five dollars a piece here. So yep. we're at forty. Yeah. Forty one. Right. Forty two. Right. And then 43 and 44? 44, right. All right. I saw this from the road. Yeah, it was. Copper, 25. What is that one? Is that one also copper? Oh, it's brass. That's wild. <laughs> that thing is neat. Kindling in there, oh, plants and yeah. plants in there and stuff, and it really shines up beautifully. But that thing is, it was out here in the garage. So. <laughs> that thing is really neat. This thing is wild, too. Would you do 20 on this? You got 25. Sure. Excellent. Yes, I, would. I think it's really cool. It's really, it's really beat up, but it's because it's, it's old. I like the you know, look like of it, though. Um, boiling the laundry. That's a, really? Yeah, that's for the washers. You yeah. It goes on there and you boil the clothes. Yeah, and roll them up and stick them that's in. neat. That's why it's so funny. Yeah. It's all solid glass. And that'll clean up nicely also. Yeah, that is really cool. Uh, yep. That's yeah. really cool. I'd be glad to sell that. What is that thing? Oh yeah, roll the maps. Roll the maps. Don't fold the maps. It's a chart. 
And how much was that? Twenty-five. Charge card. Yes. Twenty-five. Charge card. Yeah. Man, that thing is neat. It's that solid brass. So wow. If you want to screw this a little bit. Yeah, I kind of messed it. Let me turn it. See how nice it looks. Oh when wow. You polish it. That is and I neat. And a tip for doing that if you decide to polish that. Get a copper twinkle and you, you clean that up and it looks awesome on brass. Really? Brass and, of course, the copper. Man, that's too cool yeah. not to buy. I'm going to have to buy that too. <laughs> that thing is really cool. That's good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's my, that's my own aunt. So my husband bought these prints yeah. when he was in Vietnam yeah, over, in, in, really? over yeah, in Hong absolutely. Kong. And then we were living in San Diego, Coronado, California. He was on the Amherst base. So we took him down to Mexico and the guy made the frames. Really? I paid him everything and I said, we'll never see our money again. He came in this old truck to our apartment. Sure. What a great guy. So we buy, sell, trade. Old guy, he's probably gone now, but anyway. But sometimes we do keep. That is really cool. A lot of places. Right. Now he well, likes this I, guy, um, Ray Ellis. That's the stuff you're getting. <laughs> He's a South Southern yeah, yeah. Really? I think we're going to buy these. Yeah. We're going to buy both of them. Yeah. I'll buy this one. Yeah, and I'll buy this one. Oh, I didn't put it in the wrap up. So uh, uh, probably could look, go for more. Yeah. yeah so. uh, I'm sure it will. Just fill it to the paper, maybe. Probably buy this one. Buy that one too. Those things are neat. Well, I, are. I got it when I was in Hong Kong. Yeah. That was. Of course, Hong Kong has changed a lot. Yeah. But we had to have it. Actually, the frame is from Mexico. Yeah, you should tell me that. Yeah. A paint stripper. A paint stripper. Where do you sell your stuff? You go on the uh, marketplace or what? Uh, we do like an online stuff and we do, we have a little antique booth in the area down in Surfside. We keep some stuff. Um, my dad does the same thing. So he'll, he's actually like really good at shining things. He's retired now. You start out early in the morning on Saturday. Don't you? Yes. Yeah. We've been up for, yeah, get there, that's, that's right. right. Well, fortunately some of that stuff is left. Yeah. I'm surprised some of this stuff is still. You see that old milk jug over there? I did. Yeah. We have a couple of those. But I don't have any. Is that say Yoohoo? <laughs> Yoohoo? I ain't seen a Yoohoo one. Did Check you that out. Oh, yeah. I just never seen one. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oh, I kind of want a Yoohoo now. <laughs> and old Tyler's head covers. Yeah. I'll take those. Make me a little pile over here. Told you, I gotta get to. What are we up to? Oh, okay. 10 plus 10 plus 15 plus 25 plus 20. Since you moved down south, I don't, I'm not trapped in We're up to $99. 99. I said I wanted to be at 100, so we're pretty good to go. Shower, so these will be perfect. Did you do seven on these? Yep. Okay, thanks, Sammy. Do you want a bag? Um, no, that's okay. I need a gift for the baby shower. These will be perfect. Ooh. 
be pretty cool. Yeah. You want to buy a motorcycle? No. <laughs> no. I had one a while back and I sold it and I haven't bought another one, so. Uh, I dropped it twice because I'm not good at riding them. <laughs> and I realized that and I was like, you know what? Probably not for me. You know what I'm saying? It's better than getting killed if you realize. Yeah, that's right. Have one day. Thank you. you. These things are cool. Definitely some interesting stuff here, and I just, I, I like picking up different things now. I mean, again, good golf clubs, good tools, all good stuff, but this, I mean, how many times do you see a gigantic copper double boiler thing for laundry? I mean, I've never seen one. I've seen one in antique stores, in antique malls. I've seen one on the Antique Roadshow. Ain't never seen one at a yard sale. Hey, we got it for 20 bucks. These sell, uh, if they, they actually, some of them have like little uh, lids to them and in really good condition, they sell for like over 150 to 200 bucks. In this condition, actually, I won't clean this up. I won't even get the dents out or anything like that. And they usually still sell for about 100 bucks. This is really neat. There's two of them listed online that look very similar to this. Like this looks good with patina on it. This would look good if it was all shined up. If this thing was like very, very shiny, a brass, uh, she called it a chart map uh, holder or canister, or you could put post. I don't even put anything in it that you want to roll up and stick in there, I guess. And uh, it is really nice. It's all made of brass. And the ones listed on eBay are for 100 and 120 bucks. I think I might give this to dad for him to shine this thing up and we'll then ask more money for it, maybe 150. It's just a really cool piece. Another piece I've always seen, obviously the, uh, the Pepsi and the Coca-Cola ones that are the drink holders and stuff like that. Never seen one for Yoohoo. And I looked it up, can't really find one online either. It is definitely older. You can tell by the nails and everything like that. Like this is an older piece. You can tell by how this is put together on the inside. I found a Yoohoo crate that is definitely older than this one, but I think it's going for like 150 or 160. It was very, very high. But I really think that this one might go for 50 to $75, which is pretty neat. And then the pictures, I'll just show this picture. But check these frames out. She said that they got these uh, done handmade down in Mexico. They got the like the little wormholes in them, hand carved uh, frame. I thought for like five and 10 bucks, I couldn't pass these up. He said that these were bought in Hong Kong. I have not, I can't see if they're actually signed anywhere. I don't see a artist signature. It's definitely painted on there and then some sort of like really thick paper. I don't know. You can't get the this out the back is what I'm saying. So I might have to see if this is covered up and maybe there's an artist signature down at one of these bottoms or something. I don't really know, but I felt like maybe in the booth or maybe even on eBay, they will sell pretty good. So I've always said this, that knowledge is key when it comes to reselling is, especially for us, because we are not a niche seller. We don't have one thing that we actually look for. We look for a whole bunch of variety of things. And we always like each year try to get another category into our brain right so we're trying to learn jewelry and we've really been hitting that hard lately trying to learn the hallmarks on it what the stuff means in the back what the numbers mean in the back also so we're, we're learning that and also we want to learn how to do the natural stones because i don't know if you've looked up a all directional opal natural opal stone them things are worth like five to ten grand i mean you stumble across a couple a couple of those you're doing pretty good that day. So, and then what we want to start getting into is artwork, really. And there's so much to learn. I mean, people like have doctorate degrees in artwork and we're, you know, some people that just make YouTube videos. But I, I think that we can learn just a little bit enough to know what to look for and what not to look for for some of these artwork pieces. The Civil War ones look good. I mean, they're the exact ones that are online that are going between 50 to $300. So I'll list them individually online probably for 75 to $100 a piece and we got them for five bucks. So that ain't too shabby. Remember, we do have the website. So if you ever see stuff on here that you like, go to thebeardedthriftmachine.com, send us a message. You can send us an email or a message. The uh, email takes a little bit longer for us to get to than the message. Kayla, usually she can get back to those messages uh, within a day or less. So we do appreciate that. Remember, she also has her pot charms and purse charms on there and gyro pack 10% down below. If it's, your, if it's your first order, that's where we buy our poly bags and uh, it is an affiliate link. That means that we do get some money back if it is your first order and you use our code, the beard of I do appreciate it. But watch, remember not subscribe, subscribe, comment below, like the video and you know I will always get you on the next one.